clinging to the last breath of life, a young calf, abandoned by the herd in its desperate hunt for food, lies dying. It's not alone. The livestock across this vast swathe of land are perishing in their millions. It's an unforgiving environment that even in a mild winter tests the survival skills of both man and beast. Herta Hotonson takes us to her cattle pen. Those that died during the night lie among those that will die tomorrow or the day after. Our hay is all gone now. When our goats die, we sell the hides and buy more fodder. But it only lasts a few days. The herders are overwhelmed by the sheer scale of it all. A summer drought and a vicious winter. A deadly combination. And spring won't come till May. And the people are hungry. Aid agencies warn of approaching malnutrition among the very young. A rare break in the weather gave us a brief chance to reach some of the more remote communities cut off for weeks. Meeting up with a national emergency team carrying in much needed fodder. Otgon Jargal stands in the ruins of her life. She's lost 700 of her 800 livestock. They just died. Before you came, they were breathing. I don't know what to do. How am I going to raise my four children? <laughs> He's too weak to stand, isn't he? The animals are her future, her fortune and her friends. And they're dying right in front of her. Otgon now shares her traditional home with her three-month-old baby and a few of her goats, trying to save just some of the animals from the terrible cold. In scattered communities across the plains, there wasn't a family spared this disaster. Everywhere, empty cattle pens bore witness to the scale of the tragedy. The herders are reduced to selling the hides of the animals for what they can get. The Red Cross has been warned that by springtime, 20 million animals could have perished. These are some of the strongest and most self-sufficient people in the world, but even they couldn't cope with the sheer ferocity of this winter. Unless emergency aid arrives here, and arrives here quickly, it won't be just the animals that'll perish. Aid agencies fear for 9,000 people in at least one mountainous region who haven't been heard from since November. Mongolia's once rich agricultural pastures have now turned into killing fields. And for Otgon and hundreds of thousands of others, now having to face not just the loss of their herds, but the end of a way of life. Peter Sharp, Sky News in central Mongolia.